I would like today to share uh, with uh, some people uh, a technique that uh, it took me a little while to research and find out. As you know, uh, with Photoshop, there's always five different ways of doing something. So by no means, this is the best way to achieve what I'm going to show you. And also, let me say that I am not a Photoshop expert. I've been using Photoshop many years, but I don't claim to be an expert. Uh, especially when it comes to masks and uh, you know anything related with masks, uh, that seems to be one of my weak uh, points. Uh, probably because I don't use it every day. Uh, so what I'm trying to achieve here is I want to draw a shape and apply a uh, a gradient that fades to transparency. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my shape and it's not it doesn't have to be perfect we can always adjust it later uh, let me check let me turn on what's going to be up, up on top of it um, the next thing I'm going to want to do is I want to paint it a color so that it matches the one at the bottom next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to transform it to the way uh, I want it to be. Let's say that should do it maybe. I would say so. Yeah. So once I have my shape, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down here to this little icon. It's a circle inside of a rectangle. Uh, that when you click on it, it'll add a layer mask. So my layer mask has been added. It's this middle thing here. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the gradient tool, which I believe is here. Yes, and making sure that I'm selected on the, the on my layer, and I think I might have to be make sure I'm selected here as well in this middle. Uh, you know, the mask for the layer. I'm going to click and drag and I'm holding down shift so that it constrains to uh, drawing a perfectly horizontal in, in, the, in the perfectly horizontal line if you will and I'm going to let go so as you can see uh, by doing that I have drawn basically what this does is it will depending on your settings up here you know it I'm basically just drawing uh, a gradient that goes from white in the middle to black um, obviously, you know, you can change those settings here, but these have to be done before you draw it. You know, you can't, at least I can't find a way to adjust them after the fact. And also here, you know, the orientation I did a reflected, you know, I could do like a, a, like a, a, a gradient that goes in a single direction, which they call a gradient. This is a radial, etc., etc. Um, you can also reverse it. Uh, so if I did that, you know, it would give me the transparent in the middle area and it'll be opaque on the outer, on the, on the sides. Uh, and again, just remember, this is the one limitation that I find with this technique is that you have to make those adjustments before you go ahead and draw it. So it's probably going to take a, a couple of tries before you get it right. So uh, the cool thing that I found, though, is that by unlocking these, I can basically transform this, I'm going to hit Apple T because I'm on the Mac, and I'm, I can enlarge or scale down this just the mask layer, which is cool because as you know, you'll see that it's going to change uh, the appearance of it. So I'm going to maintain the aspect ratio by clicking on this chain here, click anywhere there, and I'm just going to hold down shift to go in increments of 10 pixels. So if I wanted that to be bigger, I can do that. If I want it to be smaller, I can do that too. Obviously, you know, the layer mask is a finite size. So I think uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there because I think this will work for my needs. And um, and that is it. I hope that uh, I've been able to share uh, make someone's job easier.